Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm going to be doing some textured art using some modelling paste. Um, I was going to go smaller and then I thought be brave <laughs> and let's go for the 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, I'm going to be using strokes from side to side up and down with these um, spreaders and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, so I've got some of this one left. Um, it's not a lot, but it's a bit of a different texture because it's been sitting for a while. So maybe I'll put some of this one on first, which I expect will be smoother. And then add this one on to create a different texture. I'm going to finish this one off, I think. Might use the big one to spread it. Let's see how much we actually have. spread it all over and then I'll clean up my sides a bit now I was watching a video on black sheep art um, she was doing everything in these directions which is what inspired this Okay, so I've got most of my canvas covered now. Now what I want to do is gently go over it to create some textures. That's interesting because it's a bit thicker there I think. I want a fairly neutral colour palette on here and I might introduce a little bit of blue or turquoise. I've also got these. I'm not sure whether to use them or not. I might try one now because then I can clean it up but I like it. Interesting. But I think for this one, I'm going to keep it simple. And hopefully something you guys can replicate. I mean, these you just get from a hardware store. They're for applying plaster on the wall. And they're cheap. Well, at least they should be. Just plastic ones. I got these from Bunnings. I'm going to try a small one, it's clean, just in a few different places, going in a few different directions, certainly getting some interesting textures, nice, I'm not sure if you guys can see the textures I'm getting here, it's just really quite rough, now what I might do though, so I want a little bit of extra texture through maybe around here. Hmm, I don't like that. So this is where <laughs> I'm putting my own spin on things. 
but we're using this format vertical and horizontal lines okay I'm pretty happy with that I mean you can just keep going and going but I don't think there's any need what I am going to do is wet my finger and just smooth off those edges Okay, I'm going to turn one light off so we can get a feel for a bit of that texture. Definitely got few ridges through here. Just going to. Not that I don't like that. Better this one. Okay, this is nice and dry now. Um, the texture isn't quite as sort of thick as I expected. It's a lot thinner, but that's okay. I think we'll probably see it pop up a bit more once I put some paint on. So I might put some water here in a spray bottle and I'm going to use a, a big brush and I've got some colors here. I've got white, uh, paints gray, warm gray and neutral gray. Uh, these are all Amsterdam paints. So I'm going to start with that to apply a backdrop and do my edges. And I'm just going to spray a bit of water on first. I'm going to start with this mid-grey colour. And just go in all directions. So I can definitely see some texture now that I'm doing that. It's drying out fairly quickly. I need to work faster, I think. Might have been better to put like the colour straight on. I'm going to try this different brush. I wonder if this will work any better. Might get into those. Ah, look at that. Well, what do you know? I haven't used this brush before. Just trying a different style. Okay, so I've left this to dry for quite a while, um, and what I'm planning to do next is to bring a bit of softness through with a different type of lens style. Um, so I've got a couple of different brushes here. Got this uh, other brush here too. Um, that I haven't used yet. It's uh, by the same brand as this one that worked quite well. Um, it's a JSAT 
elevate yeah so I might try that and I'll put some more colors down uh, I've got the warm gray some Liquitex bright aqua green and I thought I'd try a bit of the Artelia uh, blue black indigo I've also got a bit of white and a bit of paint gray I'll wet my brush and I want it a bit softer and lighter up here I'm going to add a tiny bit of bright aqua green those hairs that's my hair <laughs> let's try this brush it's quite heavy actually I think I prefer the softness of the other brush and I'm gonna speed this up the blue. I like that. Oh, got the dark colour going through there, but we can lighten it. Oh, I like that. I think I want that corner to stay like that. Just taking some straight lines through, kind of to match up with my lines here.
Okay. I'm going to leave it there and have another look at it in the morning. It's always good to have a look with fresh eyes. We're probably going to stand it up and stand back. Okay. Here I am looking at it with fresh eyes and I love it. I love the outside texture. I love the softness through here. It really looks like a cityscape with a reflection. Um, the texture turned out beautifully. And just this softness through here. It looks like a cloudy day. More texture up here. And then the skyline and the reflection it looks like it's sort of over water yeah very cool definitely gonna have another go at this um, the paint that I used that was the leftover pour paint has got a slight uh, slight shine compared to the other paint that's very matte but I will be varnishing this um, so that might even it all out anyway yeah so there you go texture that it's, uh, it's great I love it <laughs> I'll be having uh, more fun with some texture down the track so I hope you like this one guys um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below I shall see you all in the next one bye